Arlington Nagby is the captain of the Columbus crew. He's won MLS Cup four times, four times, and now he's an MLS All-Star once again. Darlington, always so great to see you. How you doing? I'm doing well. I'm doing well. Excellent. Thanks for having me. Good to see you guys. All right, so let's talk about the fact that MLS All-Star is in Columbus, which is very convenient for you mm -hmm. because you, you don't have to leave home. Uh, how good is this setup for you? No, it's the best. It's the best. <laughs> I don't got to leave home. Family can come out to the game. Uh, you guys know me. If I can stay put, I'm happy. So I'm excited to be here, excited for everyone to see Columbus and what it has to offer as well. Man, 34 years old, you're still doing the thing. Mm -hmm. It's crazy to see you on the pitch and, and how you've just continued to evolve. So right now, mm -hmm. how would you describe yourself as a player considering if you looked at yourself from day one, the young Darlington Nagby who came in mm -hmm. as a rookie to now, Mm -hmm. how, how, when you look back, are you, are you impressed how you've changed as a player? And, and where would you say you've changed the most? Uh, of course I've changed the most, just probably leadership role. Not just leading uh, off the field, but I think on the field as well. You know, communicate with my teammates, uh, make sure I'm playing for them, making sure they're having a good game. Also, just more in those aspects of it. And just understanding the game as well and my position and just what I got to do to help the team win and be successful. Well, you, you touched on the leadership part. I want to dive a little mm -hmm. bit deeper. It seems like Wilfred Nancy has really put you up, up there in front of the team to really lead them both mm -hmm. with, with the aspects of your performance, but also with, with words of encouragement and the mm -hmm. wisdom. How have you navigated that, that challenge? Mm -hmm. No, uh, I think at first it was tough. I mean, you know me, I'm not one to, you know, for many words, but you know, I think that's where he challenged me, you know, and I'm happy that he did. He allowed me to grow in that aspect of the game. So I'm grateful for that, you know, but I think just my teammates, you know, I think they see the work that I put in, you know, and that I'm making the effort to be a leader. So I think just them seeing the effort that I'm putting in, not just on the field, you know, but off the field as well. I think it's just, uh, it just makes it easier to communicate with them and for, for them to trust me. Uh, Darlington, I know you've been uh, an absolute all-star in this league for many times. You've been a superstar in this league for many years. If I remember correctly, your rookie season was when the league started in 1996, right? That's Yeah. Yeah, I think that's it. Uh, <laughs> you've been at it for a minute, man. Uh, the reason I bring this up is, you know, you, you got a wonderful season last year. You and Aiden Morris making a hell of a pair mm -hmm. in, that, in that midfield. Aiden moves on to, to mm -hmm. Europe. Now you've got a new partner in, in the midfield. How, how has your mm -hmm. sort of partnership leadership change where are you are you someone that can sort of help lead that and make that a bit of a better partnership or you know where are you at that with that now no obviously you know Aiden I played with Aiden a long time and you know he has a certain drive and you know a certain curiosity about him you know he's always asking me questions and looking for a way to improve you know you know now a new partnership I think for me it's just you know doing the same thing I did with Aiden you know uh uh, just, you know, being an example, being an example, you know, make sure I'm playing my game at a certain level just to help uh, the guy next to me. So I'm going to try to do my best to do that, and uh, hopefully we can have a good partnership as well. Uh, Darlington, one of the things that is so impressive among many about this Columbus crew team is this run that you guys have been on since CONCACAF Champions Cup. You make a final and you know you've been around this league a long time. We talk a lot about the CONCACAF Champions Cup hangover and somehow you guys have been able to avoid that. So often we've seen a team go on a deep run and yet they kind of sputter the rest of the season because they've put so much effort into it. But that is just not the case with this Columbus Crew side. I, how have you guys been able to avoid it and mm -hmm. score as many goals as you have in the process? Mm -hmm. No, I think, you know, when we went down there, you know, I think it's just, you know, we weren't ourselves. You know, I think we, we know we could show them better, you know, no matter the circumstances. I think we just want to do better and just win that tournament. You know, just because, you know, you sacrifice so much to get to that point. You know, so I think that just uh, that helped us kind of be better. We're going to come back and focus on what the job that we have to do now, which is put ourselves in position to win the league again. So. You know, and I think it's just a testament to the coach as well and his staff, you know, just focus on the everyday process. You know, the results, the result is what he likes to preach and just focus on training, getting better, and, you know, being a good player, you know, also being a good person and just developing always, always growing. Darlington, I just called one of your games, it feels like last week, mm -hmm. but when you guys steamrolled New England. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and, what, was the, what was the final result? <laughs> we don't worry about that result, okay? Do you remember that, Darlington? Um, but <laughs> was it 5-1? What, what impressed me the most is how Wilf, it seems like Wilfred Nancy is able to get the most out of, of certain players. Um, Christian Ramirez, mm -hmm. in particular, it's almost like he's changed his style of play and, and he figured out a way mm -hmm. to have the most influence given what he can give to the team. But it's mm -hmm. not just him, it's Camacho, you know, it's Zawatsky now mm -hmm. with you, uh, Farsi. 
Mm -hmm. I, I just feel like he's he's had done a great job of getting the most out of, of the guys on the field. What have you seen from him as he's continued to evolve as a coach? No, I think uh, he wants everyone to understand everyone's role. And I think that's huge. So we kind of understand what, you know, what a guy is looking for. How can you support your teammate? You know, I think that's a big thing he focuses on a lot. Uh, know your player, know your teammate, know his strength and his weaknesses. I think when you focus on that, you know, I think it makes it easier for the team to be in sync and it makes the chemistry better. So he's done a great job of that. You know, I think last year was more understanding the concept, but now, you know, we're working on understanding each other. You know, the guy's strength and weaknesses, you know, a guy's positioning, what he likes to do. So just make sure the whole group is always fluid and always moving. We always talk about All-Star being a great opportunity for people to learn about the city that they're about to go to. Mm -hmm. You are pretty much the mayor of Columbus. You're, you're really enjoying your <laughs> you time up there. You the key, right? Yeah. You, got, you got this. He's definitely got keys. hundred percent. A whole ring of them. Uh, what, what, do you, <laughs> what do you think people's first impression of Columbus will be? And what do you hope the lasting impression mm -hmm. of Columbus, Ohio will be? Uh, first impression, I think they'll see, you know, has a, has a lot more to offer than they w what they usually see. You know, I think usually you're here, you know, just the night before the game and then you take off after the game. But, you know, that's why I'm excited for the, for the All-Star game to be here. You know, you have good guys, good players get to come here and, you know, see the city, see how excited it is about soccer, you know, and how much it's grown over the past couple of years as well with the new stadium. You know, we checked out the train facility today. So I think guys are just really appreciating what soccer has, you know, uh, what Columbus has as a, as a soccer city. Short North. You know, it's got, hey, you it's got know. some new restaurants. I was just going to say. Okay, is this well, a nickname? No, because Darlington said he's like, I'm a homebody, so I wanted to get one restaurant recommendation mm -hmm. from him. You have to go out. You think you've got yeah, to go out on a date night. At least DoorDash or something. Yeah, exactly. you, you and Felicia are going out for the, a nice dinner. <laughs> Where are you Where going? are you taking her? Uh, uh, this is this is a new restaurant called Valentina's. You know, but that's close to me though. That's not downtown. So, <laughs> but downtown, uh, <laughs> downtown, uh, Lincoln Social, a little nice little rooftop spot. Okay. That we like to go to. Ooh, it's kind of low key. Yeah, it. good music, good vibes. Yeah. Hey. If it's Darlington Nag being endorsed, I'm in. Yeah. Say you, no more. You know it's special. It's got to be good. He ain't leaving the house. <laughs> yeah. He's not leaving the house nah. unless it's, it's the real deal. Absolutely. Rooftop <laughs> vibes. Let's go. <laughs> I'm ready. Uh, Darlington, you're the best. <laughs> you are uh, just the, the, the coolest cat around. Also, I have to give you mad props because Charlie tried to break you before we started this, this interview, and you, mm. you kept it all yeah. together. The ultimate pro, as always. Thank you guys. Thank you guys. I'm gonna get after him though when we get off here. That's there right. you go. That's right. We hey, he ain't got my number. He only got yours. <laughs> Enjoy the All Star Game, Darlington. Great to see you. Good to see you guys. Thank you guys. Take care, man. <laughs> Darlington Nagby, the face of the homebody movement. I can I can relate to that man right there. I. Does anyone have a better smile or laugh in Major League Soccer at the moment? He's no. got to be up there. And he's the king of of being the homebody. He's the king of it. But at the same time, you just see what a joy he is to be around. Just a genuine, genuine person. I, I had, you know, I got to know him through Teal Bunbury, and and Teal and him were so tight. And so, to see him off camera, what he's like, you know, he's just, he's, one I hear of, you had he's him a top giggling. guy. Yeah, he's a, he's a top guy, and how talented he is. One of the best talents that <clears throat> this country has ever produced. Yeah, and a great leader mm -hmm. as well. And that's something that the crew players have said about him, Wilfred Nancy has said about him, and you can get every sense of that in, in talking with him, just the type of leader that he might be in the locker room with that group as well. And no hangover, like he said, from that CONCACAF Champions Cup loss, which can't be said every season for MLS teams that make it in that competition. We saw Seattle go and win it, become the first MLS team to do so, and then miss out on the playoffs that same year while Columbus sitting in a nice spot in uh, the conference and how much they, that loss motivated them, actually. Do you think they make it to the MLS Cup final again? I think they get deep in the Eastern Conference uh, playoffs. Um, whether they get to the final or not, that'll be rema that remains to be seen. But in terms of a, a group full of talent, well-coached, Columbus will, will always be in the mix. I mean, and it's hard in Major League Soccer. How many teams have we seen stay consistent yeah. year after year of actually winning something? Mm -hmm. LAFC, Seattle. I mean, it's a, it's a few clubs who can say that they've been able a to handful. achieve something like that. A handful. It's a handful of clubs. Yeah. Well, Columbus Crew, they've got their sights set on more glory in 2024.